everybody, Anna K. Morris here from We Play Everywhere, and I'm here with your um, second tip of the month. It's Monday, and um, yeah, we've got a lot going on this month. So we're really diving deep into playing with your future, and you'd have to be living under a rock right now to not have heard about New Year's resolutions and goals and what do you want for 2016. So um, if that's all pissing you off, then you may not want to listen to this video. So go ahead and shut me off right now. Um, but if you're still like, hey, yeah, you know, I want to do some stuff. I'm not really sure what um, this video is for you. So last week we talked about um, planning uh, your future like a road trip. And we talked about cleaning out your car and passing inspection. So go back and listen to um, week one's video if you haven't yet. Um, and once you've done that, the next thing to do is to take a look at where you're going. So I'm looking at my handy dandy cheat sheet. This is available to all of our members. So if you're not a member of We Play Everywhere, hop on to weplayeverywhere.com, click membership, and we'd love to have you as a member. You're going to get this fabulous cheat sheet as well as a workbook. So, um, I'm going to share with you a little bit about how to help um, set your goals for 2016 so that they're really authentic to you. Um, the first tip that I'm going to give you is all about taking a look at what you're jealous of. So you may know already what you want in 2016, or it could be kind of fuzzy. In fact, I think for a lot of us, it's really like kind of fuzzy. We're trying to figure out like, what is it authentically that I want? And my favorite tool is to take a look at who I'm jealous of. So you all have those people, let's be honest, like we've all got those people that you see something in a Facebook feed or something on social media or newspaper or whatever, and you're like, Ugh, like I'm so annoyed with that person. And that usually comes from like, I'm so jealous, I want what that person has. So my first tip is to take a look at who that person is and what you're jealous of. Because it's a really good roadmap for you to see what it is that you actually want out there. So take a look and um, and make a list, right? Like take a look and see who and what you're jealous of. So that's my first tip. And then use that to construct what your goals are. So I recommend two to three wigs, which are wildly important goals. Thank you, Jenna Sneed. I love, love, love that term. So easy to remember. I like to take a look at three goals for the whole year. The first one, I like to have a professional goal. The second one, I like to have a personal goal. And the third one, I like to have a health goal. So mine for this year is to grow this membership to a thousand members. My personal one is for my husband and I to, um, to, live in a camper van and travel all along the West Coast and um, for him to leave his job. And my third is um, to get in better shape. Uh, and I don't mean better shape, like to feel more light and vibrant. I know I need to lose some weight and um, and be doing different things with my body. So um, those are my three goals and they're really, really easy to remember. And so then when I'm doing things out in the world this year, I can check to see, is it meeting one of those three goals? And if it's not, I'm going to eliminate it because I'm really about um, staying really clear and focused. A great book that I can recommend um, is The One Thing by Gary Keller. I did a talk um, at Keller Williams uh, Real Estate Company last week. It was phenomenal. And um, The One Thing is a, is a great book that um, Mr. Keller wrote, and it can be a really great tool to keep you on track with your goals. Okay, I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Weplayeverywhere.com. Click membership for the cheat sheet. Bye.